Hey guys, I am Gautam and welcome to Chemix. In this video, I am going to talk about IIT Jam Organic Chemistry important topics. Okay, so as I told you that in the previous video, I have already discussed the physical chemistry part, the important topics and the corresponding strategy. What should be your strategy if you are preparing for IIT Jam examination? Then what should be your strategy, strategy that I have already discussed in the previous video? In this video, I will be discussing only organic chemistry, the important topics, and in the next video, I will be discussing the inorganic chemistry, important topics. Okay, so keep watching. But before we start, I just want to tell you that if you are preparing for IIT Jam chemistry examination and you want to get some kind of best quality study material, then you can have those from me, and those will be the best quality, one of the best quality material. And uh, I am sharing you, sharing with you all those things whichever I have read during my preparation and cracked the examination. Okay. So you can get the uh, hollow materials with very 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 low amount okay and you can start your preparation from now and I have told you already in my previous video that you can check by clicking the i button that of course uh, the four month strategy how can you uh, finish the whole syllabus along with the along with you can practice all those things within four months okay. Uh, because I have already uh, told you one words, one line that is about Avinay to Kavini. That means if you are not preparing from now, you are, you, can, you are will be unable to crack the examination. Okay, because this, this is the last time that you can start from now and you can finish the syllabus up to uh, within the month of December. Okay, or the first week of January. So that's the fact that you should take care of. So what about let's talk about the organic chemistry part that uh, different kinds of uh, one, two, three, four, five. There are five chapters for organic organic chemistry. So you have to take care of all these five chapters okay and you have to read all these five chapters very carefully and in details of course. So the first chapter that is about basic concepts in organic chemistry and stoichiometry that is also called GOC general organic chemistry part. So from here what you need to do just do remember one thing that everything uh, in IIT jam examination will come from IIT jam syllabus okay whatever is in the syllabus that you should take uh, you should read only you should not read anything others uh, uh, other anything other topics from outside so like that okay it's not the net or gate level examination it's only jam is jam exam so you should take care of only the uh, jam examination syllabus okay and you have to finish the syllabus fully okay so the first chapter is basic organic chemistry so from here the electronic effects that resonance inductive hyper conjugation so these effects you have to understand only uh, because the from these effect uh, resonance inductive hyper conjugation you will not face any question directly rather than you will face questions from steric effects and the corresponding acidity basicity compare they will ask us to compare the pka value pka value that means pka is proportional to ph so ph values okay so you have to understand what is the basicity basic property what is the acidity acidic property okay and their comparison okay which is which is more acidic which is less acidic which is more basic, basic which is less basic that you should take care of so then coming to this very important topic that is optical isomerism that is number of stereo isomers you have to found okay fine that is rs nomenclature mainly then uh, with uh, chiral center and without chiral center so with chiral center means you have to you can uh, nomenclature all those systems by r and s and without chiral centers that means uh, that is ra or sa that is uh, alins for that is for alins and bipenyl systems okay so for uh, chiral cent for the compounds which have already chiral centers that you should take care of on uh, the on uh, sigma planes then number of uh, total number of isomers in that compounds right so that does that's that's you have to find out from different kinds of molecules and that can be done in the fisher projection remember this one okay so this all you have to take care of from the uh, compounds which are which have the chiral centers and which don't have the uh, chiral centers uh, that uh, is about the alins and bipenyl systems you have to uh, understand how to nomenclature how to uh, configure them as ra and sa configuration okay so that you should you have to understand okay that i have already discussed in my notes so just do read carefully so then coming to confirmation of uh, acyclic systems that is substituted ethan and propane and butane that is of course the energy profile diagram okay that is the confirmation of in newman position okay then then different kind of interactions like coach butane interactions then uh, eclipse form staggered form in the newman position of these three systems in butane systems substituted ethan systems and in propane systems only in this three systems, not extra okay then coming to cyclic systems that is mono and di substituted cyclohexanes basically from here in the most of the cases questions come like uh, from cycle actions the which are which is more stable one three one three substituted one two substituted one four substituted as they are they already uh, this, uh, told mentioned here that only di substituted system that is one two one three one four that you have to remember all those things the stability different kind of interactions in between them one three diagonal interactions then coach interactions like that okay so you should take care of all these interactions 
and also the uh, stable structure sometimes the question comes sometimes the question comes from like uh, questions from likely to be uh, e2 reactions sn2 reaction type question but this is very rare okay in most of the cases question generally comes uh, regarding the stability okay from this section so that's done already the goc part okay so then coming to organic and organic reaction mechanism and synthetic application so from here just uh, coming to uh, carbon ions carbo uh, cations, free radicals, carbenes, nitrines, and benzenes. So from here, carbocations, carbon ions, these are very easy topics that you have already read in your uh, class 11, 12, basic, uh, 11, 12, okay. And the free radicals, carbenes, nitrines, and benzenes, these are also important that all you have read already in the graduation, okay, in the beginning of your graduation. So uh, especially uh, carbenes and nitrines that in which reactions they are they are forming the intermediates, okay, that you should take care of. So, for example. Uh, carbon that is uh, in trimetriment reaction the basic intermediate is on uh, carbon okay generally carbon reacts with the system so that you should take care of they will provide you uh, the question like uh, in trimetriment reaction which intermediate which of the following is uh, considered okay or which of the following is uh, um, react with the uh, molecule compound so there are only four options that carbocation carbon ion uh, carbon and uh, another one so the correct option will be carbon so this kind of questions you can face from the this kind of carbon nitrogen section okay and also singlet carbon triplet carbon their reactions with the double bond okay that i have already discussed in my organic chemistry notes so you can uh, read carefully from that section so next coming to name reactions that is uh hoffman cartes losen rearrangement so this three rearrangement uh, uh goes through one particular uh, intermediate that is isocyanate okay so that is important and they are uh, they are of course intermolecular okay and the, the most important thing is they uh, forms generally the same intermediate and give the same similar kind of product okay so that is very important what the hoffman cartis losen rearrangement so you, you have to remember the starting material the product okay the mechanism is not that much important because uh, they in exam mechanism will not be asked okay so the important thing is uh, starting material what will be the starting material and what will be the product that you should remember then coming to wool pre-arrangement okay every rearrangement whatever uh, they are you just have to understand what is the reacting species what is the product okay and the uh, inter uh, relation between the reactant and product okay how this and this uh, reactant to product are forming and uh, what will be the corresponding reasons okay that you should take care of because in the jam examination you have to you have to uh, identify the reactions by seeing the uh, of course reactants or products or intermediates like that okay as uh, as per your questions okay so then coming to simon split reaction that is also a carbonoid reactions that is of course important then i am reaction as i have told you michael addition michael reaction okay then along with this the robinson annulation that i have already discussed in my notes then dargen condensation important wittig reaction very important reaction so i am not discussing all these name reactions i am just telling you that every name reaction is important you cannot uh, skip any of these name reactions because uh, generally straightforward questions are coming uh, and come generally from the name reaction part okay so this is wikidic reaction then macmillan reaction then pinacol pinacolon rearrangement this is along with the pinacol pinacolon rearrangement the semi pinacol pinacolon rearrangement then other like kinds of rearrangements generally coming so then Taboski reaction very important reaction questions in the year 2019 one questions uh, came from Taboski reaction then benzylic acid rearrangement dinon phenol rearrangement bare pleasure oxidation okay very important reaction then their uh, uh, migrating aptitude okay that is very important that is which group has the highest migrating aptitude that you should take care of these things all of these things okay then coming to oxidation and reduction reactions in organic chemistry so this is a very fast topic oxidation and reduction but i have discussed very important all those things uh, oxidation and reductions that is of course uh, 20 pages 20 30 pages notes okay i have already discussed and uh, what are the reagents re, uh, reactants reagents and the products that in uh, in the oxidation and reduction reactions so i have already discussed so you can read from those and you will find anything everything from uh, according to jam syllabus okay in the oxidation and reduction section so then coming to organometallic reagents organometallic reagents mean Grignard reagents organo lithium reagents and organo copper reagents or base reagents okay that i have already discussed in this section so you just have to uh, understand how can you prepare them and rather than the most important thing is the in different kind of reactions uh, in which they take part okay then coming to diels order reaction that is of course in the diels order electrocyclic and sigmatropic reactions okay that means of course you have to write uh, read the pericyclic reactions in detail okay remember this one in detail you have to read the pericyclic reaction so it's done then last is functional group interconversion and structural problems using chemical reactions that is of course a, a very vast topic uh, but 
um, I will not suggest you to uh, take care of all those reactions because you know some kind of reactions like uh, carbon carbonyl reactions, car, uh, then aldehyde reactions, okay, phenol, carboxylic acid, these kind of reactions in the class 12 base level, okay, class 11, 12 basic, basic things. So that has that is uh, of course important, but the other things are much more important as those are from the graduation levels, okay. So then coming to qualitative analysis, that is identification of functional groups by chemical tests, that is of course less in tests like tests nitrogen, sulfur, these kind of tests, okay, halogen tests, okay, unsaturation tests, these kind of tests are very very important in this section. But the most important things from here is UV IR NMR. Okay, so from UV you have to understand the um, lambda max value you have to calculate. From IR, the IR stretching frequency you have to uh, learn how to uh, correlate the IR, uh, IR stretching frequency. Okay, and how to compare the different molecules with different IR stretching frequency. Okay, you have to find the order like that. You have to find the maximum the compounds which has maximum uh, IR stretching frequency. These kind of questions you will face. Then from 1H NMR you can understand that the structure elucidation and the number of peaks, number of NMR peaks, okay, number of proton NMRs that you should get, number of indications that you get that you can, I have already discussed in my notes in very uh, detail, okay, great detail. So then coming to natural product chemistry, natural, from natural product chemistry, uh, alkaloids, steroids and terpenes, these are not that much important, but carbohydrates, amino acids, peptides, nucleic acids, these four topics are very, very, very important. So questions generally come from these four topics. Uh, from carbohydrates uh, the, you have to understand all the structures of the carbohydrates okay then from uh, peptides that is amino acids okay so you have to take care of all those things in the amino acid section then different kind of um, 20 amino acid structure how uh, amino acid uh, forms peptides with the with the uh, peptide bonds okay how what is peptide bonds primary structure secondary structure okay this kind of things then the c terminal n terminal determination like that these things then coming to uh, Nucleic acids. Nucleic acid means suppose uh, DNA RNA. Remember this one. Watch, uh, listen carefully. Nucleic acid means DNA and RNA and their uh, different kind of bases. That is adenine, guanine, thiamine, cytosine. Okay, you will see this kind of bases. Then not their structure is not that much important, but the ATGC like that and number of hydrogen bonding as uh, which is forming in between them. Okay, these are very very important. Okay, because from here you can only uh, get at least one questions. Okay, that will be very important and very easy questions. Okay. I like them to be the number of hydrogen bonds in between AT and GC like that okay then the complementary strand how to find the complementary strand this kind of questions you will face that I have already discussed in my notes so uh, read from there whoever has taken my notes okay then peptides amino acids I have told you that how what type of questions you will face from those topics now coming to uh, last chapter that is aromatic uh, and heterocyclic chemistry so from aromatic chemistry that is uh, here they are telling about um, monocyclic, bicyclic and tricyclic aromatic compounds that is monocyclic means of course benzene, bicyclic means of course uh, uh, naphthalene, tricyclic means phenanthrene and anthracene. So these three, these three four systems you have to take care of. From benzene part you have to uh, you have to read all the preparation of benzene, reaction of benzene like that but that is not that much important. Okay, but the tricyclic, tricyclic and bicyclic systems are important, but I have not seen any question from directly from these sections, okay, rather than aromaticity. So if you read aromaticity, aromaticity, then you can face like questions, but generally questions come from heterocyclic chemistry. That is, of course, the 100 atom. That is, you have to read only the uh, uh, thiophene, furan, and uh, pyridine pyrrole. Okay, four system: thiophene, furan, pyridine, uh, pyridine, and pyrrole. These four systems you have to read only other systems like uh, you know the two uh, two heteroatom in which two heteroatoms are present that is not important because here it's telling that uh, only one heteroatom you have to uh, read okay from in heterocyclic chemistry so these topics are very important okay that's that I have told you so whatever I have I am telling you or I have already told you just uh, verify your, uh, yourself that whether you can whether you have completed all these topics or not okay if you not then you can start your study or you can and uh, okay you can get the whole mid things okay from me if you are if you don't have but if you have then you can start your preparation from now and do remember that uh, every topic is important don't skip any topic because if you skip one uh, you mean uh, suppose uh, you are skipping one hard topic according to you okay as per you but the question will come from that hard topic according to whichever is hard uh, according to you the question will come from that topic the question will be very easy okay and uh, you are reading a small very important topics and the question comes from that topic will be very hard like th these things uh, generally occurs okay so don't skip any topic my suggestion will be don't skip any topic to read everything and do complete the syllabus okay because jam has its, its own syllabus and you have to complete the syllabus okay to crack the exam okay in a better way okay and to get a good rank 
so that's all about these things and if you have uh, in the next video of course you will get the inorganic chemistry notes as i have told you so that's all about this video thank you thanks for watching